He has reportedly promised to turn himself in, but police are still on the hunt for the man they believe killed a young Brooklyn couple and their newborn baby. Investigators say Julio Acevedo was driving the car that killed Nachman and Razi Glover and their unborn child. He told the New York Daily News this afternoon he was willing to turn himself in after he hired an attorney. News tells Robert Wolf has the latest. Julio Acevedo, suspected of driving a BMW that crashed into a car in Brooklyn, killing a pregnant woman, her husband, and ultimately the child they were expecting, says he's ready to turn himself into police. It is reported he told that to the Daily News. That crash killed 21-year-old Nachman and Razi Glauber. Their baby, who was born prematurely via cesarean section, died Monday. The husband grew up in Rockland County. The community here in Muncie is still grieving, heartsick over what happened to the young couple and their newborn child. Folks here doing everything they can to comfort the family. The main focus of the community at this time is the family, the situation, the story. Local newsman and community liaison Yossi Kostetner says an informal network of grief counselors has been helping those in this tight-knit Hasidic community deal with this tragedy. He says what they can't get over is how a man like Acevedo with a long criminal rap sheet was on the streets to begin with. But what we need to ask ourselves is how does a person who has been arrested and served behind bars for manslaughter, um, drugs, driving uh, while intoxicated two weeks ago, how the heck is he behind the car two weeks later? Police say when that BMW struck the livery cab carrying the Globbers to the hospital to deliver their first child, it was moving at 60 miles an hour. A missile that tore through that intersection, destroying young lives and sending a shockwave through two communities. In Muncie, Robert Wolf, News 12. Well, the reward for information leading to the arrest of Acevedo has now been increased to $22,000.